Hello there everybody, it is of course Nick Dutch back on the camera yet again one more time. I've recently received a barrage of comments and comments are good because they stimulate my thoughts and they stimulate my ability to express uh, my opinion on certain specific subject related things so that you can understand better where I'm coming from and so I can become more critical of ideas which I think are probably not quite 100% on whack. Uh, and yeah, I admit the a lot of the things I talk about is trying to change people's perception of apparent supernatural phenomena, okay? Because there's too much rubbish going on. There's far too much rubbish going on. And that's basically got to be changed in order for there to be any like real progress within trying to research the phenomena in question because people apply beliefs to the phenomena. Now this particular comment says, see, this is what bothers me. People don't react the tiniest bits to radios, TVs, satellites and the internet. I mean all these things are flowing waves out of thin air. Uh, that can become radio, TV, or whatnot. And when people mention telepathy, people go bullshit. I mean, isn't it more weird that we got radio stations out of thin air? Why can't our brains be connected somehow through waves? Think about it. Okay, um, radio waves aren't just coming out of thin air. Okay, this is um, this is my telephone. It it works via a radio signal to its little base station. What the base station thing does is it transmits. It generates that particular energy, the radiant energy, which can be measured in terms of frequency, amplitude, type of wave, um, and lots of other things using the right variety of equipment. Okay, we create the energy in a physical way which can be measured through physical apparatus which we ourselves as a species can create. Alright, obviously not us, you know, not, not just you and me, I mean uh, my experimentation with homemade radio has basically stopped shortly after like making little AM radios when I was a kid, you know what I mean? And things are more complex now. But we use physical things to create a physical form of energy which can be physically made, uh, measured with physical apparatus and therefore we can conceptualize that this is a physical thing we understand as a species you know we as a species understand how it works and the uses that can be applied to this form of energy which is the product of many many years worth of research and peer review publication and so on and so forth which has built up people's faith in um, a device that works via radio waves. We understand that power is needed for the transmitter and for the receiver uh, and essentially how all the components fit together and to work. Now when it comes to consciousness based phenomena we as a species have not yet got uh, the technology which we as a species would rather have in a physical form because that's essentially the way that our paradigm at the moment is, is operating which can measure the energy which comes from a human brain. Uh, we have only a certain number of experiments such as, uh, you know, just w one particular example would be Dean Radin and his meter analysis, okay, which suggests the possibility that something strange is going on here, all right, uh, to which the answer would probably be, in my humble estimation, yes, something strange is going on, but we don't fully understand it. But, and this is where the big but comes in, any form of psychic research ideas has been heavily marred by religion and people saying that a particular strange experience must therefore be proof of the god Odin or proof of Thor or proof of immortality which by reason and reasoning we would have to turn around and say not quite to be quite honest it's not quite absolute conclusive proof it's, it, it's not quite there so we haven't got the technology to measure any brain wave emanations that can travel across a distance. 
we haven't yet got um, a, a cohesive working framework to understand how it works. We haven't yet got a reliable, reliable method of putting this into effect. And the other thing which stops um, psychic research from being taken seriously is the perpetual and thoroughly egregious statements which is made by people who are within the New Age world, the occult world, the spiritualist world, the pagan world, the magical world, the, uh, I don't know, Ouija board world, and all the rest of it. And that is the phrase, it works. It works. All right, which is a phrase which suggests and implies 100% pinpoint to the letter reliability each and every single time, 100% percent of the time all right so the whole message about what occultism or what spiritualism or, or, or psi research is about has become marred by this abuse of language and this irrational way of thinking now from personal experiences which i've had i would have to say that i have some faith in the hypothetical possibility that there is some kind of thought transference and therefore a thought transference medium of some description which exists outside of the physical body of, and of which we are somehow a part. But I would have to say what this is and how it works I don't know. How to measure it I don't know, I'm at a loss. How to prove it empirically I don't think it can be proven empirically. Uh, and can is it 100% reliable? No, it's not 100% reliable. Which means that the idea of a concrete proof uh, starts to get a bit difficult. So we have to think to ourselves, why do occultists use language in such an absolutist, hard truth claim way? Why is it that occultists, if they can think hard enough about the use of language that, they're, you know, that they themselves are using, why can't they see that they are damaging their own movements and also the credibility of their own movements? Why is it that spiritualists, occultists, pagans, New Ages and magicians uh, are actively using language which is destroying and holding back the possibility of any form of intellectual or scientific research into psi phenomena in the future. And to my mind, uh, this is because some people think it is more profitable, and I think the word profitable is applicable here, to just sell religion for political gain to try and tackle or attack uh, a set of political ideas that they themselves think is inappropriate rather than being people who want to search for the truth um, which basically makes me want to just hate people who are using phrases like it works uh, and are promoting um, this hard truth claim interpretation of what the phenomena in question might mean. So, as far as the question, why can't our brains be connected somehow through waves? Well, they might be. But we don't know. We have to learn to use language differently in order to encourage the scientific world to eventually start looking into this stuff in greater detail. And we, only, we can only do that through throwing out, to a great degree, the religious components to our explanations.